to another episode of Going All In, Get the Edge You Need to Succeed. I'm Dr. Erin McKinley, and today we have another awesome spotlight session with Ariana Aoun and Dr. Rosa Hand from the Lewis Stokes Cleveland VA Medical Center Dietetic Internship and Combined Master's Program with Case Western Reserve University based in Cleveland, Ohio. All right, welcome to the podcast, Ariana and Rosa. To get us started for this episode, I would love for you to give us a quick introduction to you, your journey to RD, and how you landed in your positions with the Cleveland VA. Great, wonderful. Well, thank you very much for that. Um, we're happy to be here and happy for this opportunity to share um, the program with everyone. So, um, and I'll start and then I'll hand it over to um, Dr. Hand. So I started um, in undergraduate. I knew I always wanted to do something in the medical field. I wasn't sure what. Um, took a uh, introduction to nutrition class and decided that I did want to focus on um, providing nutrition care and being a dietitian graduated from undergraduate and ended up actually applying to this program, the Lewis Stokes Cleveland VA Dietetic Internship Combined Master's Degree Program with CASE. Uh, so I was an intern in the program, finished the program, uh, was hired as a dietitian. So I worked as a clinical dietitian and a preceptor for years. And then when my um, predecessor uh, retired, uh, I did apply for the position and was selected to be internship director. So I'm very excited to have seen the program from all three sides, intern, preceptor, and director, and, and I love what I do. So thank you. So hi, everybody. I'm Dr. Hand. I actually don't work at the Cleveland VA. I work at Case Western Reserve University, where I uh, teach the graduate students who are enrolled in the VA internship program and also serve as their academic advisor. And we'll talk more about that relationship between the two parts of the program throughout um, the episode today. Uh, but my path to my current position is very similar to what you just heard. Um, I'm a case lifer, actually. I did my undergraduate DPD program at Case and then loved Cleveland so much, even though I'm not a Cleveland native, that I decided to stay and did um, the internship program through Case Western and University Hospitals Cleveland Medical Center. Um, then I took a short detour to this position where I worked at the Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics leading a research program for them for about five years. And then I got my PhD at Case and was lucky enough to finish around the time there was a faculty opening. And so it was sort of my dream job to come back and to be able to work at Case and specifically work with students in this program, which I think is um, such an exciting and, and dynamic program for the reasons that you'll hear about as we proceed. All right, so I'm going to let you just tell us all about the Dietetic Internship Program and the master's component at Case Western. Thank you, and um, so I'll first present about uh, the specifics about the Dietetic Internship at the Cleve Cleveland VA, and then I'll turn it over to Dr. Hand. Uh, throughout the presentation, I do have some different uh, pictures of our um, main campus medical center, uh, which I'll indicate what they show as we go through. Um, so this uh, picture uh, highlights our um, long-term care tower at the main medical center campus, but our internship has been accredited since 1965. <clears throat> And since that time, we have been affiliated with Case Western Reserve University Department of Nutrition and have offered a combined master's degree program. So uh, for over 50 years, we've been an internship with a combined master's degree program, and we're very proud of that association. This picture actually highlights our um, entrance to our outpatient uh, care area at our main medical center campus. To give you an idea, our mission statement looks at that the program would like to provide a foundation in research and evidence-based nutrition practice, interdisciplinary team experiences, and broad exposure to specialty and advanced level practice to prepare graduates to become entry-level registered dietitian nutritionists. Whether a master of science degree in nutrition who deliver competent nutrition care to our veterans and the public in a compassionate and ethical manage, manner. 
And just to highlight, our concentration is research processes and applications, and we have aligned that with our mission statement, the, the value we think that that brings. Just to highlight the picture here on this slide, uh, this is our picture of our administrative building with walkways leading to our medical center, um, still located at our, at our main uh, campus. The program length of of the internship is 49 weeks, lining with the internship, um, but the graduate work spreads out over 17 months, and Dr. Hand will go into that um, in more detail. We do accept 12 interns annually, and the intern schedule is set up that Mondays are reserved for graduate classes, and Tuesdays through Fridays are set up as uh, when the interns are doing their supervised practice experiences. So the Lewis Stokes Cleveland VA Medical Center Dietetic Internship Training provides over 1,200 hours of on-site supervised practice. VA rotations cover 42 weeks, non-VA rotations cover three weeks. We do offer a public policy day as well as pediatric series with um, a local children's hospital that we are associated with that is nationally recognized. The interns work on various internship assignments and projects throughout the internship with their preceptors, and there are some that they work on specifically with myself, such as uh, a pregnancy and lactation case study, a pediatric learning modules, and a career portfolio. Throughout the pandemic, we realized how important virtual technologies are, um, and our interns have had the opportunity to work with the VA Virtual Medical Center, VA Video Connect platform, and Microsoft Teams for Business, um, and these experiences will continue after the pandemic. So to give you an idea of how the VA internship is laid out. Interns start in phase one in August, which runs until December and winter break. Winter break is two weeks. Uh, after winter break, the interns come back in January to start phase two of the internship. Um, they, um, the, in, the phase two of the internship runs until um, July and the three weeks of staff relief for the interns. Different um, supervised practice rotations that we do offer um, throughout our program. I do want to specify that for our community rotations, the community rotations occur in our VA outpatient clinics. They're not occurring at um, community organizations um, in the, as some might think, though we do offer the opportunity for our interns to do a rotation um, with community organizations during the enrichment rotation. So I do want to specify that we have a co combination of the orientation and two weeks of winter break. Um, federal holidays are also available when um, training time falls within those holidays. Interns do have the opportunity to spend a week with our clinical um, program manager, chief clinical dietitian. The intern works on administrative assignments with our chief, with our chief clinical dietitian and dietitian points of contact. Throughout that week, the intern is able to develop an understanding of clinical programs and applicable benchmarks for clinical nutrition management. The majority of our rotations are clinically based with 17 weeks in the following areas, medicine, spinal cord injury, surgery, community living center, which is our long-term care uh, rotation, oncology, renal, critical care, and a pediatric affiliation with a nationally recognized pediatric hospital. I would like to explain that our medicine rotation um, is broken up into two sections with the first medicine rotation occurring in phase one and the second medicine rotation occurring in phase two. Um, and, and the logic behind that is that the interns will have the opportunity to become, um, you know, gain more knowledge in phase two and further test their skills when they have a chance to revisit the medicine rotation. 
we also reserve the renal and the clinical care rotations <clears throat> to occur during phase two in order to allow the interns to get comfortable with the hospital and clinical tasks before they're in, the, in those rotations. Um, so our dietetic interns spend 13 weeks in the following areas, um, weight management uh, and another at our Parma outpatient clinic. We also have the interns spend time in cardiovascular risk reduction, our diabetes self-management education and support area, as well as geriatric evaluation and management. The VA also has a program called home-based primary care, and our interns have the opportunity to spend time with our Wade Park team and time with our Lorraine or our Lake County team, which is a great opportunity for them. That's an opportunity for the interns to go actually out into the home and see how the veteran um, prepares food, see what their resources are, and be able to give them some feedback um, as to ways that they can um, improve their nutrition. Our interns are um, in food service systems management for a total of eight weeks. We also divide this rotation up. They spend three or four weeks during phase one doing projects in food service systems management. And then they spend three or four weeks in phase two doing food service systems management. The interns um, <clears throat> with their preceptor go out and do uh, field trips to areas that they might not have seen um, during their rotation, such as um, in the past, we've gone to a commercial bakery, a commercial um, cheese producer, a coffee processor, as well as a teaching farm that teaches about sustainability on the environment. Rotation is two weeks and there's various areas for the interns to select from. We do have affiliations with various Northeast Ohio organizations such as the Greater Cleveland Food Bank, pediatric affiliations with local children's hospitals, school nutrition affiliations, as well as um, private practice. We also have some VA practice areas that our interns indicate they're very interested in spending more time learning about such as our healthy teaching kitchen, which teaches veterans to cook along with food, insecure, with food security. Uh, we have um, community-based inspections and the domiciliary. We have our whole health program, eating disorders team, and surgery. And all enrichment rotations um, are organized and um, administratively set up by myself. There's nothing that the interns have to find or organize in any way for this. Um, they're just provided with the choices as to and then they choose what they might want to be interested in doing. And our last culminating experience for our internship is staff relief. We provide three weeks of staff relief. The interns do select a practice area such as clinical, community, or food service systems management. And then the interns cover the preceptor's ward and or their clinic assignments with the preceptor available for guidance um, and for signing notes as well. I would like to share some information about our staff. We have 45, 47 registered dietitians on staff that cover the various clinics, clinics I've mentioned, the inpatient areas, our diabetes self-management education and support program, our dialysis unit, home-based primary care, food service systems management, as well as those with administrative responsibilities. The majority of our interns are graduates of VA dietetic internships, and the majority also have a master's degree, as well as additional specialty certifications in their area of practice. So as you can see, when doing a rotation with one of the VA preceptors at our um, healthcare system, they're subject matter experts in their field and able to um, provide the teaching experiences that are necessary for the interns. The VA does provide um, various training resources as well. There's a dedicated uh, training room with desk, computer, and locker for each intern. These are some pictures showcasing that. The VA also provides learning resources for the interns, including um, a subscription to the Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics um, evidence analysis library, the electronic nutrition care process terminology. They also have subscriptions to nutrition care and the sports uh, care manual, the Cochrane Library, Natural Medicines Database, and the Inman's RDN exam review too. As I mentioned previously, our concentration is research processes and application. 
um, with our research goal looking to evaluate um, the interns' careers and employment. Um, the outcomes from this are that 100% of our graduates feel that they're satisfactorily prepared to conduct research, and more than 90% of them feel that research um, has been valuable to their careers. We also like to track the professional research outcomes for our interns, and we define that as a publication, a presentation, a poster, or an abstract. Um, and as you can see, over the last four years, 100% of our interns have finished the program with one of those items. So we're very, very proud of that as well. Applica application criteria for the program, you must be a United States citizen to apply to a VA internship. You must have a cumulative GPA of three or higher to meet the Case Western Reserve University admission requirement for graduate school. All men over the age of 18 must be registered with the Selective Service System. Um, candidates are evaluated in terms of academic achievements, their personal statement, work, volunteer, leadership, and research experiences. We do not require GRE scores. We do find that work experience in an area related to dietetics is beneficial, but it is not mandatory. And the Lewis Stokes Cleveland VA Dietetic Internship does participate in both the spring and the fall match, and each class starts together in August. What are some of the benefits of being a dietetic intern at the Lewis Stokes Cleveland VA? We do offer a stipend of over $15,000 during the 12 months of the internship. As explained previously, we, we feel that our concentration is very valuable to the interns' careers and uh, future success. We're excited that we um, have a one-on-one -on -one RDN to preceptor to dietetic intern um, oversight for the majority of our rotations. We have minimal simulation or shadowing. Our program is combined with CASE to offer a master's degree program, which aligns interns for the 2024 requirement. And upon program completion, interns will have preferred hiring status with the VA, which is a national employer. If you do have any additional questions, please feel free to contact myself. Um, my email is included, and I've also included um, the VA codes to apply either for the fall or the spring match. And I thank everyone for their inter interest in our program, and I'm happy to turn it over to Rosa Hand. Thank you. Well, I'm so happy now to take over from Mrs. Allen and talk to you about the master's portion of the Lewis Stokes Cleveland VA Medical Center Dietetic Internship, which does occur at Case Western Reserve University. And if you're not from Ohio, you may not have heard of our university with a very long name, but we are uh, one of the leading independent research universities in the country. We are consistently ranked first in Ohio, and we are ranked somewhere around 42nd in national universities, depending on the year. We have world-class academic programs in a variety of subjects, including engineering, law, medicine, dentistry, nursing, management, as well as the liberal arts. And this includes 10,000 students from all 50 states and 91 countries. So Case Western really is a place where you can learn about a diversity of subjects with a diverse group of faculty and students. We are located right around the corner from the VA Medical Center in Cleveland. So you can see up here at the top of this map is the Lewis Stokes Cleveland VA Medical Center, the very modern, beautiful academic medical center that Mrs. Allen has shown you pictures of. And then you walk a few blocks this way, which is south, and you hit the first part of Case Western Reserve University then you cross this major thoroughfare, Euclid Avenue, and you're on the other part of Case Western Reserve University. And these uh, triangles right here show you where the nutrition department offices are. So um, students really find that this uh, sort of continuity in location is helpful. You can walk back and forth between the university and um, the the VA if you choose to do so, which many students do for parking reasons. 
So I do just want to clarify one thing about Case Western Reserve University, which is that along with having a long and confusing name, we also have a slightly confusing set of dietetic internship programs. So there are actually three programs associated with Case Western Reserve University. One of them is the MS in Public Health Nutrition Dietetic Internship Program, which is what you will end up at if you apply to Case Western Reserve University through DICAST and DND Digital. If you are interested in the program that Mrs. Owen just talked about, you want to make sure that you apply to the Lewis Stokes Cleveland VA Medical Center Dietetic Internship. The DI is accredited through the VA and partners with Case Western for the coursework and the master's degree. We also have a third partner, University Hospitals Cleveland Medical Center, which does the same partnership as the Cleveland VA. So just make sure that you're clear on which program you're applying to because they do have unique characteristics and sometimes students are confused because they're all affiliated with Case Western. All of these programs that I just told you about are 16 or 17 months, depending on how you count exactly, but they start in August and then they end the following December with a formal graduation ceremony. They do all lead to an MS degree, although it's different MS degrees and eligibility to take the RDN exam. They have some overlapping coursework, but they are diverse in, in the course requirements and they are non-thesis. So again, the emphasis today is on the Lewis Stokes Cleveland VA, but um, if that's the program you're interested in, please make sure it is actually the one that you apply to. Um, the basic requirements for the MS in nutrition through Case Western Reserve University are completing uh, 30 credit hours of coursework, the majority of which are in nutrition and are at the graduate level. We, we use 400 at case to indicate graduate level. You need to do that with a minimum GPA of 3.0, and you also need to complete a comprehensive examination for the non-thesis program. So we obviously think that a master's degree combined internship is the way to go because that's how we've been educating dietitians in this program since 1965. So we think that a dietitian with a master's degree functions at a higher level, is really ready for advanced and specialized areas of practice, can demand a higher salary, has an understanding of the research process, and thus can contribute to nutrition science, can advance rapidly, and obviously is prepared for the 2024 entry-level master's mandate. So here's photos. Here's another photo of the VA Medical Center. Here's a photo of university hospitals. And then this is our nice um, medium, medium moderate medical school. We also have a brand new uh, medical school building that's a few blocks away. Um, so I can't say that this is the most modern part of our campus anymore, but we do have really nice facilities for the students. You know, all of our classrooms have the appropriate technology and we have great Wi-Fi and all of those things that you would expect from a university. So the traditional schedule for our 16 month program, as Mrs. Owen alluded to, is that in the fall of the first year, students uh, have classes on Monday and then they do internship rotations Tuesday through Friday. And specifically uh, what we do for the research concentration in that first year is that uh, students take a class that's focused on the basics of human subjects research and the implementation of a standard research project that I guide students through. And they actually have the opportunity to obtain informed consent and, and gather data from patients. And I just want to emphasize as we talk about this that we hope our applicants have an interest in research, but you absolutely do not need to have research experience in order to be admitted to or to succeed in our combined MSDI. Uh, we start the fall really with the idea that students have uh, very limited background research experience and uh, this class is meant to empower them with the skills to see how research can apply to their practice and how they can um, start to, to gain those skills. The 
the spring looks very similar classes on Monday, internship Tuesday through Friday. And now the focus for the research class is on the development of an individual research project. So we take those skills that you developed in the fall, and now you have some agency to um, design a project that would answer a research question of interest to you. The summer of the first year, so May through July, transitions to full-time internship hours, Monday through Friday, and you get a break from coursework. And then in fall of the second year, classes are available Monday through Friday to complete um, elective coursework. Right now, prior to the 2024 master's mandates, uh, students can take their RDN exam at the end of the summer of the first year, and many students do choose to do that. It allows them to apply for jobs during this uh, second fall. Some even choose to work on a limited basis as registered dietitians while they complete their coursework. So I labeled that last slide traditional schedule because we do have the opportunity to offer a revised schedule for students who apply through the fall match. And this is totally your choice. If you apply in the fall, you are welcome to take, you know, January through August to work or to travel the world or whatever you'd like to do. But some students in the fall match we know are anxious to get started. And so we do have the option that you could complete your elective coursework first. And so in this sequence, in the spring of your first year, you would have elective classes Monday through Friday. You would need 15 credits of electives. Then the summer of the first year, you would mostly, most likely be off. There are a very limited number of summer electives offered at Case. Then the schedule would look more traditional. So fall, of the first year, you'd have your classes on Monday, internship Tuesday through Friday, same in the spring, then internship only May, June, and July, and then you would be done while your classmates continued on to that traditional final fall. So this is totally up to you, um, but we like to offer it as an option for those considering fall match. So these required courses are um, eight credit hours all on Monday in the first fall, one credit of evidence-based practice, three credits of seminar in dietetics one, which is really advanced medical nutrition therapy, and then four credits of the research class I described. In the spring, it's seven required credits. Seminar in dietetics two is really about management and leadership practice in dietetics. And then the independent project development. And then finally, um, 15 credit hours of electives in the final fall. Six of those credit hours need to be in nutrition, but you do have flexibility for other classes to be taken in the other disciplines that I described to you that we have available at Case. So we have a lot of nutrition electives available in a variety of topic areas. Many students choose to focus on maternal and child health in their fall. We have um, lots of options on those topics. We also have options in things like integrative and functional nutrition, diabetes prevention and management, or sports nutrition, just to name a few. So as I've already explained, we have this research concentration, which is primarily um, fulfilled through Case Western coursework. But again, I want to emphasize that the goal here is not necessarily to turn students into bench scientists, but rather to promote human subjects research and really empower students to promote dietitian-led research and to be contributors to nutrition science and to evidence-based practice. And so, as I've already explained, in the first fall, students participate in this standardized research project. Then in the second fall, they develop a protocol and an IRB application for their own work, but they don't um, actually have to get that IRB approved, which gives a lot of flexibility. You only have to get your IRB approved if you want to have research as part of your elective credits in the fall. And we do usually have about 50% of students who choose to go on in the fall and, and execute that project from the spring. Many are surprised that they sort of catch the research bug from us, but that's totally optional in the second fall.
So we do have to address the cost whenever we talk about a master's degree. Um, you can see here that the total program cost at Case Western is just over $55,000 using, um, oh, I didn't update this slide, but it is the 2021-2022 tuition and schedule. Uh, financial aid is, of course, available to defray some of these costs. So the application process, should you be interested in the Lewis Stokes Cleveland VA Medical Center dietetic internship, is to apply on DieCast and DND Digital to that program. I will screen your applications to ensure that you are eligible for admission to Case Western, but you do not need to actually apply to the graduate school until you are matched to the internship. At that point, I will help you transfer most of your paperwork from DieCast into our Case Western system. So you don't need to spend the time or the $50 application fee to apply to the graduate school until you know that you're coming to one of our dietetic internships. So if you have questions about the graduate school portion, I will be happy to answer them via email in rosa.hand at case.edu. You can also explore our website. And before we get to Dr. McKinley's questions, I did just wanna let everybody know that uh, for fall 2021, Mrs. Allen and I will be hosting a Zoom Q&A session for uh, those interested in the fall match on Thursday, September 9th at noon Eastern. And so if you'd like to join that and ask us any questions live, you go to cwru.zoom.us slash join and then enter the meeting ID and passcode that I've provided on this slide. So um, thank you everybody for your interest in the program and I look forward to answering questions and, and hopefully seeing many of your applications. All right, thank you to both of you for those overviews on your respective pieces of this program. I know it can be a little bit confusing for, so just a side note for our viewers at home, if you were looking for the episode that was on Case Western Reserve's MSDI, that is episode 29. We've already done one of those. So check that out if you're interested. Just wanted to bring that up if you need clarification between the programs. All right, I'm gonna jump into the five questions that I ask all programs that come on the podcast. And these were put together with the help of my students so that I was asking the questions that they really want to know the answers to from directors. And so the first is, what is one thing in particular that you just really love to see when you're reading applicants' personal statements? So thank you for that, um, Dr. McKinley. And I'd, I'd like to share that um, Dr. Hand and I both serve on the selection committee. So we will, um, you know, answer all of these together and everything. Um, I had opened it up to the other members of the selection committee too. And some of the things that they'd shared that they like to see are um, if an applicant tells a story or a narrative about their life that applies to why they are choosing to be a dietitian. And also, um, they also like to hear, you know, what's the passion that drives the applicants and why is, you know, dietetics their career choice. I also, when I'm um, looking at a personal statement, like to see that the applicant has um, reviewed our website because we do have specific questions we'd like them to address in their personal statement on the VA website for the Cleveland VA Dietetic Internship. So um, I do like to see that they've taken the time and they've um, done that with their statement. So, But I'll turn it over to Dr. Hand for any additional comments too. Yeah, so I would just add that because of my role in the program, along with seeing a customized personal statement that is specific to the Lewis Stokes Cleveland VA Medical Center Dietetic Internship, I would like to see you acknowledge that this is a combined MSDI and potentially let us know about your interest in research. Again, you don't have to have research experience, but it would be great to emphasize that you're aware of the master's component and that you see value in, in that component as well. All right, my second question has to do with resumes. So true or false, an applicant's resume should be one page and one page only. Either way, why? So, um, so Dr. Hand and I spoke and and um, we decided I would answer this one. So we're both comfortable as well as the rest of the selection committee with um, a resume being one or two pages, um, depending on an applicant's experience. We don't think there's um, a wrong answer to that. We don't 
think anyone should be going over two pages at this point in their career typically, but up to two pages, as long as there's the content and experience to support that where we think is completely reasonable, so. All right, so my third question is one of my favorite questions to ask directors and persons affiliated with the different programs. What is one or maybe some more than one thing that an applicant may do that might raise a red flag where you would think maybe this person's not the best fit for this type of program? That's an excellent question. Um, and I, I do want to share, um, we evaluate all applicants. Um, I really couldn't think of anything that would exclude an applicant. Um, but I, we do have a couple of items that um, we feel applicants should be careful of when they're applying. Um, and those are things along the lines of making sure they don't have grammatical errors in their applications that they haven't addressed their application to the wrong internship, because sadly that happens sometimes as well, um, where they put the wrong name in their personal statement or something. And I would also invite applicants to um, take the time to thoughtfully fill out the diecast application. We do review those very thoroughly as a selection committee. Uh, don't leave areas blank on the diecast application, assuming um, that we'll find it in your resume. We will review your resume, but I feel that the diecast application gives applicants extra space to further expand on some of those um, experiences they have on their resume so they can really showcase themselves. So um, yeah, just having them take that time to showcase themselves using the diecast application and, and proofread the application too. Yeah, I would agree. We really try to evaluate candidates based on what they present in their application material. So if you write an email to us that you later regret, we might remember you, but we do try to really just evaluate candidates within the confines of their application because that's the most fair. Uh, from a case perspective, we are fairly firm about the 3.0 GPA cutoff, but if you're close to the cutoff, and you can explain in your personal statement why, you know, maybe you had a tough couple first years and now you're really showing an upward trend or you've really tried hard to remediate some of those grades. We can sometimes petition for an exception. So if you're very close to that 3.0 cutoff and have, you know, strong work experience, please do consider us. All right, so my next question is, what is one aspect of the program that you feel really separates you from the competition? Thank you, Dr. McKinley. That's a great question too. Um, I did ask the rest of the selection committee for some ideas on this, um, as well as my own. Um, some things that they shared, which you've heard from me already, is our research concentration they feel makes us unique. Our dedicated preceptors, the fact that we do have a stipend that we offer, the dedicated office space for the interns, um, as well as we serve veterans. So we give back to people who've given us so much while serving our country. Um, serve that group, it's a community. And us as employees, as well as the dietetic interns, become a member of that community. Um, so I thought that was real powerful. And I would just add as the director that um, Again, we do provide over 1,200 hours of hands-on supervised practice experience in a professional work setting with experienced preceptors. With, and then we have robust, rotation, um, robust rotations in advanced level practice areas such as renal and critical care. So we're, we're proud of those areas. But I know Dr. Hand has some feedback too, so thank you. I think the program structure is pretty unique in terms of having classes on Monday and then internship Tuesday through Friday. I think it really allows the students to focus on the work that they have at hand. So, you know, Tuesday through Friday, you're not worried about when do you have to finish so that you can run over to class. But it also is really complimentary. So you can learn about something in class on Monday and then put it in practice Tuesday through Friday. And I can certainly say as a student of the program, you know, that was very powerful to me. I think other things that set us apart academically are the number of elective credit hours. So many programs 
have mostly required classes, we have a lot of electives. So students can really expand on, on what they wanted, on what they found they, they really liked during rotations in those elective coursework. And then we also just have a really superb faculty at Case. According to my colleague, I haven't verified this myself, but a colleague of mine was looking through nutrition department websites, and she claims that we have the highest proportion of PhD RDs in nutrition departments across the country. So the, the large majority of our faculty are PhD prepared dietitians who have some experience in the field and who really are committed and, and passionate educators. So we'd love to have you come and learn with us. All right, perfect. Well, my last question of the five is a two-part question. So we'll start with what are the three best adjectives, and they can be descriptors or phrases, whatever is easier, to best describe your program? So for the VA um, internship, I do want to say that um, script, good descriptors are that we're a clinically focused internship with challenging advanced rotation experiences. We are hands-on supportive, and we use our dedicated preceptors to make sure the interns are successful. I would say the program is fast paced. You do need to know that 17 months for a master's in internship, which is high quality, it's, it's intense. Uh, but in that 17 months, I think we give a really nice balance of both depth and breadth of content. All right. And the second part, very similar three adjectives, descriptors, or phrases to describe your ideal applicant. Um, again, I'd open this up to our selection committee um, and they came back with, uh, they're happy when um, the interns are eager to learn, uh, flexible with a positive attitude, as well as organized. As Dr. Han just said, it is challenging, it is fast paced, so they do need to be organized in order to balance the internship and the graduate work as well. Yeah, I think mine are pretty much the same, but I would say uh, applicants and interns who are ambitious, curious, and compassionate. All right, well, that was it for the questions from me. So to close out this episode, I would love for each of you to give us a quick take home message for potential applicants. Great, thank you, Dr. McKinley. Um, thank you for this opportunity um, to showcase the program again. Um, we're very appreciative of that. Um, a quick takeaway is um, don't be intimidated about applying to a VA internship. I have sometimes heard that um, that can be very competitive, but again, we do holistically evaluate uh, the applications. Dr. Hand also um, explained that, um, you know, please, you know, if you do feel you have any challenges, just showcase those and what you might be um, doing to overcome them. And um, we're happy to evaluate your application and um, we hope you choose to come learn with us. So thank you. This is a fabulous internship in a fabulous city. And so many people have been surprised by Cleveland and then choose to stay. And, you know, I'm, I'm certainly one of those people, but I, I hope that you'll give us a deeper look, even if you don't know much about Cleveland. Um, it's a really great place to live. And I think it's a supportive dietetic internship that turns out very well prepared registered dietitians. Thank you again, Ariana and Dr. Hand for joining me on this episode. And for those at home who would like some more information on the combined program with the Lewis Stokes Cleveland VA and the master's program at Case Western Reserve, I've included the website link to their program in the description below this video. And as always, don't forget to like this video and subscribe so you never miss an episode with another awesome